We are David and Tiffany, and oh yeah, there's Larry, our Land Rover. And here at Overlanding World, we're diving into reviews and how-tos that you as an overlanding enthusiast want to know. So buckle up and join us on this adventure all here at Overlanding World. All right. Hey everyone, welcome to Overlanding World. And in this video, we're going to be installing a snorkel on our 2003 Land Rover Discovery 2. All right guys, so the main reason why we wanted to install a snorkel, one, because it looks pretty cool, and two, because um, we have plans on going uh, places like the Mojave Road, where they have uh, like water, I wanna say like, I don't wanna call it like a lake, but like a water basin where you can drive through, and it could be pretty cool. Um, we actually got this one from Amazon for about $90, I believe. Um, this is not the original, um, I guess it's called the Safari one. Um, that one runs about $500. This one's um, uh, kind of like a, ch a made in China, I don't want to call it a knockoff because it is it is legit but um, it is a lot cheaper and it does the same thing so um, next we're just gonna get into what comes in the t uh, in the kit so let's go all right guys so what comes in the kit from Amazon is of course the snorkel the nose piece um, the template which will help you know exactly where the bolts are gonna go um, this plastic piece I'm honestly not sure where that goes yet yeah, some washers um, rivets, bolts, nuts, uh, hose clamp, and this plate, which I believe goes on this side on by the window. Um, you're also going to need a drill just to help you make all the holes and then a jigsaw to cut the uh, place out in the fender where the um, snorkel is going to fit in and connect. So one of the first things that you need to remove on the car is actually like the fender liner right here so that when we uh, do the drill out the fender we can attach the bolts from the back. So let's remove that right now. All right guys, we just took the inner fender liner off and then this whole rat's nest fell out of there. So. Oh my God, don't touch it. That's great. So we just took the air box out with the filter and everything. It's a good time to also inspect your filter and while you're here. Uh, from here on out, we're gonna remove these, this box to seal out the bottom so that no water can come from the bottom. Uh, and also to remove this cover because we're gonna need to like drill around here. And it's also a good time to inspect this thing right here. On a lot of these old Land Rovers, this thing is made of fabric and it starts to corrode. So if your thing is good, uh, leave it if it's not get a plastic one i don't know if we mentioned this before but this um kit does not come with any instructions so luckily we're making this video so we'll make all the mistakes and you can just do it right <laughs> but now that we're using the template we can see that it doesn't really line up perfectly with the bolts so just be mindful that um you if you buy this kit you are going to have to make some of your own adjustments so that's what we're trying to do right now um figure out where we're going to have to like alter these uh holes in order uh, that way it does fit and that way it does bolt on correctly um, so that's what we're going to be working on hopefully it doesn't take too long and then we'll be on the next step so we just finished cutting the um, template here while david was uh, taking apart the intake um, for later um, i just used a simple just razor blade but we did have to modify it quite a bit in order to like get the uh, bolts in like the center of the hole but we're finally there and the next step is just going to be putting this on the car and then to start drilling so we taped up the side and then taped the stencil to it. Um, we marked where we had made the new holes, where it actually lines up with the actual snorkel. Uh, we made this extra template since this is not very accurate. So this is going to go here where um, the mouth part is going to be at. Um, so next thing is to start drilling and hopefully <laughs> it goes well and we don't have any issues and then we have a snorkel. Let's go. sort of have the snorkel in there uh we're still like test fitting we only cut out the main hole for the the snout so we only have this one cut out uh we're just trying to get this to match perfectly inside and line everything up and then after that we'll make the 
we'll like mark these uh, studs with like a sharpie or some paint and then press it on there and see where they indent so that we can get this perfectly in there because we have like adjustment room here but we don't have a lot of adjustment room for the nuts but overall it's going good we're just figuring it out as we go so uh, yeah all right guys so as we said we're just gonna put um, some paint on it and then just like imprint it on the on the tape that way we know exactly where it's at just because our template seems unreliable at this point so I'm just gonna use my finger and just dot each one and then put it on there and then we'll be good So we've drilled out the holes um, using our little paint method and all. Um, so this one, we you know we keep using the grinder. Just be patient with it. Um, instead of using the jigsaw to like fix it, just use a grinder. Take off like layer by layer, and then just keep um, seeing if it fits in there. Um, so the bolts that it came with that we showed earlier, they seem to be a little too short to actually reach all the way through and be able to tighten the right amount. So instead, we are going to be using these 30 millimeter M8 bolts. These just come in like a pack that you can get from like Ace Hardware, for example. And these we're going to use with the same washer that it came with in the kit. And we're just going to bolt it from the inside. And this is going to be able to hold it a little bit better and a little bit tighter to the fender here. Um, but overall, um, after we figured out that this is the way to go, it should be pretty easy from here. We're just going to bolt it through and then We'll be done and we'll try to fix, uh, we'll try to start on this part of the snorkel, bolting it to um, that part of the car. And yeah, so let's go. Okay, so in the kit, there was this part that came that I was very confused about on how it went. And I think I'm starting to understand how it goes is this is going to go inside the fender between the, I guess, this wall, but inside the fender where like the thing is going to connect to so that the snorkel can just slide in here. Uh, there's no way to mount this, so I think we're gonna have to like silicone it. Uh, I'll see how it goes. I think I have some silicone that we'll use to uh, mount this inside so it can line up perfectly with the car's intake. Got some silicone, and we're gonna silicone this inside at the fender. So if you put this in there, it kind of lines up. So I, I, I think there's no instructions, so I don't know for sure. But I think it's going to go something like that. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put like a bead of silicone down this and glue it on. Now we don't have reg reg regular black silicone. We have this uh, polyurethane thing, which is, looks kind of ugly and brownish. But it'll work. So we're just going to uh, put a nice thick bead. Oh my God. Yeah, it fell off. There we go. That should hold it. Thank you. Okay, so as you can see, we have it completely bolted in. It's pretty solid down here. Um, we bolted in from the inside from the fender. Um, our next step is going to be putting a tiny bit of the silicone around here and then putting this piece back in. This is just so water will not get in there from the fender from below. Um, and then after once we finish that, next is going to be putting the bracket on here so it doesn't move. And then we'll be pretty close to wrapping it up. So this is the bracket that's going to mount to the A-pillar right here. Uh, so this part mounts to the snorkel itself. And then this mounts to the A-pillar. Now the discovery is this part is plastic. Uh, and then the, the inside part is metal. So use a self-driving screw again. Or maybe to put a screw like a, like a drill through it. Just so you can hit the metal first. And make sure to push it as far in as you can. So that it doesn't hit the door. So here is our last self-tapping screw there we go and we're done putting on the top piece right now i'm just tightening the clamp um overall the experience with this specific one from amazon i would literally give it like max like a seven out of ten no like a two a two okay david says two i said max a seven anyways um, honestly, with no instructions and doing it for the first time, it's like, it's kind of like, you got to figure it out. I mean, it's not rocket science, but there's a lot of little pieces, and if you don't get it right, you could break it or etc. Um, I know there is other ones that you can buy, 
around maybe like $300 to $500, I would honestly say if you plan on using the snorkel a lot, um, I would recommend just getting that one just so you know everything's going to line up perfectly. You're not going to get any air and you're not going to ruin your whole rig. So this one, I don't know how often we plan on using it. We kind of have it just as like an in case if we see a puddle or something that we want to go in then we can go. But um, overall, this specific one, not the best. But we have it on. It looks cool. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, stay tuned for our next project. I'm honestly not sure what it's going to be. But we're always finding like new modifications on Instagram, uh, other YouTube channels, and etc. So if you have any questions, just hit us down below in the comments. Or um, you can also hit us up on Instagram at overlanding underscore world. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you.